Welcome builders, Andy is Yoni here. Thank you to the builders. We've got Gajexi, Violet, Aaron. Thank you so much, guys. This is, look at the distance. Look at the distance. That is what they look like in the distance, what we're building today. We're starting with this little simple gate post to your castle, maybe to your kingdom, to your city, your village. And we're gonna upgrade it once twice i like this one this is one of my favorite ones the towers just look so robust and they've got nice little places where you could protect yourself like this or not protect yourself and shoot your arrows down in there and then the final upgrade upgrade number three we're going to learn how to do this complete with a port cullis this is this kind of grid thing that comes down you can make it out of iron bars we chose to use lecterns we think it looks really really smart uh, a few bushes obviously make things look a little bit better shout out to the builder in the video of these little towers this little tower at the top not my design shout out in the tutorial to that builder um, yeah, so that is what it looks like from the back. We're going to be building all these designs, all four of them, block by block. Sit back, relax, enjoy, or get busy and get building and follow along. So we're going to start with a very basic gateway and then upgrade it three times. So here is the very basic gateway. This is the layout. It is 19 blocks long, as you can see in three blocks wide. I've marked out the central block and this is where we're going to be having our doorway. So either side of the central block you want to put blocks along like that and then we're going to come up to four high in total. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Seal that across along the top and then we've got stone brick stairs one and two just like that and that is our doorway. So I'm going to build the whole left hand side of this and it'll be exactly the same on the right hand side so let's quickly go around here leave that space for a door come around here like that and i need to build this up um, to a height of four high in total i am going to leave a little gap here because we're actually going to leave this as a little place where you can actually have a little murder hole or poke some uh, you know fire some arrows or spears through to defend from the inside of the castle and you can close it off like that there we go. We'll put the floor in a little bit later on, but let's crack on with these walls. So these all need to be four blocks high in total. Here where we've got the doorway, we can do an upside down stair there. And we'll place the door in just a little bit later on. Let's bring this round. So we're just using stone bricks. Later on, we can add in some texture. Over here, we need to add on three more blocks. One, two, three, one, two, three. What do I mean by texture? Things like cobblestone and the site, just to break up the kind of monotony of all these stone bricks. Okay, that's looking really smart right there. What we're also gonna have is kind of a little walkway here where you can just walk along. One, two, three, four, five, just seal that up. Let's complete this side and the back of the door as well uh, i'm just going to bring that there and that there that comes across that comes across and there we go it's looking fantastic um, over here we're gonna have a little doorway as well actually it can be another stone brick stair to give a little doorway into that sp spot and then up top we're gonna go one two three four with spruce fences in between like that so that is us nearly finished this um, what we do want to do is add in a little bit of detail we've actually got a little window which is going to go in just here so one two and then face the blocks like this you've got stone brick stairs facing in the way correct the way up and then facing in the way towards the door upside down it creates a little arrow slot uh, window I actually really like that let's grab some Andy's Yoda site and we'll work on the flooring And then we can get a door in as well, right there. And we can provide a little ladder way like that. And if you have a little hop, skip and a jump, you can get yourself across to there. And of course you can put in another doorway if you wanted as well to be a bit more defensive. Okay, so now we're gonna go with one, two, three, four. That's the middle part there, that's onto the next section. And then here we just go spruce fences all the way along you've got a really really simple gateway this could be the first gateway you build in survival and then you're going to be working on the rest of the upgrades okay you need to do the same on the other side be right back 
So a complete mirror image. In fact, you've got mirror images throughout this entire video. So whatever I do on the left, just duplicate it, mirror it on the right hand side. As for the little doorway here, we left this little gap here so we can do spruce trapdoors. One of my favorite blocks, spruce trapdoors. Get rid of that one as well and put a little teeny tiny door in there. And let me just do that. And that is the zeroth upgrade, the most basic of gateways. That's your starter point right there. Uh, we can also just make sure that is done. Oops, destroyed my door. That's no good. Let me just make sure this floor is correct. That all works. Great, great, great. I'm going to be in here to place the door, and it gives you that little kind of indentation there, which I love. So very plain indeed. No detail. Let's move on to upgrade number one. So for this upgrade, here are all the ingredients you're going to need for the entire gatehouse. Of course, you can subtract all the ones you've just placed in stage zero. So you don't need this many stone bricks. You've already placed quite a lot of them in stage zero. But here is just the complete block list for this stage. Okay, so we're going to be making five by five towers around this little three by three tower. So hopefully that makes it easier to understand. We'll start right here. I'm going to do the left hand side only. So let's start here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, bring that up, seal that off. And we're going to move the door is actually going to move right to here like that. So that's where the door is going to be. So that is uh, one part of the new tower. We're going to miss out the corner like a five by five. See, this is the five by five shape we're doing, but I'm actually going to miss out those corners like so. Miss out the corners and just go like that, like that, and like that. And you guessed it, we're going to have a door at the back. So I'm just leaving that open for a few seconds. Okay, what we want to do now is just bring this up to the same level. And the good thing about this is your tower just gets stronger. It's obviously got a filled interior, but you can just build this around the outside of your existing tower and your defenses are not dropped while you're upgrading. And I wanted to make these upgrades as simple as possible using simple materials. Place another little door in, bring that up to the top. Now we can start to gut the inside and just get rid of all these little three by this little three by three area can it all actually just go so let's just get rid of all use and again it's great we're just recycling blocks we're going to be using them again so it's no problem there we go revealing some more of the, the flooring let's make it andesite you can go for polished andesite you want it to be a bit posher than me we need to provide a, a ladder up i'm going to put the ladder at the back of the build and bring it right up to the top then a floor goes at this level with upper oak slabs that's pretty straightforward good i like it so far do you like it so far if you like it so far i like it so far let me just check my reference picture where's it gone there we go got that on my sights um should we place a door we need a door. Let me grab a door. Da -da 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 -da. Boop. Like that. So there we go. So that's our five by five tower. Now what we're going to do at the top of this tower is just give it a nice finish. We're going to go for these beautiful chiseled stone blocks at the very top, like so. And then another awesome block. I don't use it very often, but I think it's an amazing block and I really should use it. It's these smooth stones and especially the smooth stone slabs and they just look great on top of a tower so a little bit of nice finishing detail there let's also um, put another floor right here so you can stand right on top of your tower and be very defensive over your gate and there we go that would be the tower on the left hand side we are going to put in another one of our little windows and they're going to face in the way little arrow slit windows i think it looks really cool i do i love it Okay, now we want to pay attention a bit more to this whole front area. Uh, and to do that, what I want to do is build that tower over there, exactly the same as we've just done. So be right back when that is complete. 
so that has been done. Right, what I'm going to do now is place um, an upside down stone brick stair. And it has to go one, two, three. It has to go in the fourth, the fourth block right there. And same on this side. And we're going to just take away these blocks. We're going to make a little kind of a crenellated entrance way here, but it's going to be sticking up a little bit as well, sticking out, giving us a bit more foot room and a bit more space up here as well. So place these blocks on there like that. There we go. Then we're going to go with some more of these blocks, the stone brick stairs. We're going to go upside down, then correct the way up and then upside down keep alternating that as we go along there we go love that love that beautiful chiseled stone blocks uh, here so they're going on the correct way upstairs there just looks fancy doesn't it i think it just looks really really cool and then more of the spruce fences again keeping to very simple blocks that you can get at the start of the game hopefully hopefully you find them simple to get Needs to be simple for when I play survival. I am rubbish at survival. I'm just creative. Is anyone else like that? Is it just me? Probably just me. Um, we want to create some murder holes because these are holes where if someone actually broke through your door, you could drop some hot embers or hot water down on top of their little heads. That's what you say in Scotland when you mean head. And drop them down on their heads and uh, yeah, they'd have a tough time. You know, they'd probably be a little bit angry at you. They'd be like, hey, stop dropping stuff on my head. You're like, hey, get out of my castle. Like that. Um, how are we doing? So we add some doors in here. Boop. So you've still got this little kind of defensive area. You've got a little room up here. You can peek out there if you're tall enough. You can come along, you can drop stuff, like maybe pencil sharpenings on people's heads. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That'd be soft. You'd be like, hey, stop it. Hey, someone join my server, cool. Um, that is stage two complete. Actually, it isn't complete. I forgot. Look, at this stage, it's time to add in some texture and I'm gonna choose just simple cobblestone. This is something you're definitely gonna have a lot of. So get replacing, and you could go crazy. You could add some andesite, you could have some um, mossy cobblestone would look good as well. But I think this works well when you're putting texture, and this is called texturing. If you didn't know this is texturing making the castle look a bit more weathered and worn and realistic because if you go around the real castles and i've been around real castles in scotland and england i think i destroyed a ladder there i'll have to go and repair that off camera um they're not all made of the same block you know getting the same exact block is kind of a modern thing really because it's very expensive so castles were made of a mixture of whatever whatever you could get your hands on really so uh, texture like this go crazy if you want to use different blocks I'm just gonna go for cobblestone personally just now and I like that that looks pretty smart me just a little bit up here yeah there we go texturing that is the first upgrade complete so now we are ready for stage two and I tell you what this is the complete block list for stage two, but of course you can subtract all the blocks you use for stage zero and stage one. You don't need to come up with completely new blocks, but if you wanted to build the whole thing from scratch, this is the blocks that you would require. Okay, let's get busy. Let's get doing this. So um, what we want to do is do a little bit of destructionness to start with let's actually take off these blocks at the front this gives us kind of a new a new beginning so a bit destructive to start with we'll get rid of these ones also like so there we go there we go not too shabby so far um, we're gonna go um, up the top here we're gonna go for extra chiseled stone blocks uh right here let me just double check that we've got the height right yep the height is correct so we want to uh, add these chiseled stone blocks right in here they hardly get seen actually but i just think it's the tiniest of bits of detail that can really make a build we need to get hold of some stone brick walls and just run them down here like so this gives a more rounder feel and look to the castle so i do like that 
and we're just going to do three here one two three we've got some uh kind of different things going on around the back later on uh, let's finish this tower we need to grab um some stone brick stairs to finish it we're going to face on the corner that way and that way and then when you do that and that they just kind of leave this little corner which i love i think it looks so cool so like that and like that and then just turn them turn them and you get that little corner just it's a nice thing to do when you've got walls coming up i think poisonally speaking uh so that goes there that goes there uh, face that way face that way that goes there that goes there very cool very very cool um so right here i'm gonna go um with a slab a slab just there and there and there as well i'm going to take off these smooth stone blocks like that all right and we're going to just actually take away a few more bits and pieces here and this is going to really um expose a bit more of the castle here uh i guess this block needs to go here is that right yeah that block needs to go just there cool and that one goes there that's looking pretty smart so far we've got these little teeny tiny gaps i'm not sure that's correct i'm gonna have to check my pictures <laughs> i think it probably is correct i like it now let's leave it um let's put these in the corner and in the middle so corner corner middle corner corner middle corner corner middle so you can still climb up the stairs you can shoot arrows through that look like little matriculations i like it um, those blocks need to stay. We can go for these spruce trapdoors in a minute. Um, what I do want is to grab spruce slabs, and these are going to go on top of the chiseled stone blocks like that. Doesn't spruce work so well with stone brick? Right, we want to do that and that. So I'm kind of crouching and flying at the same time. That's how I could place these blocks in Java Edition using Steven's traditional texture pack, by the way, and uh, BSL shaders on Java Edition, if you're interested. Um, so you can close that if you want. To, if you don't want to be seen, you can just close these and be all defensive, or you can open up and fire your wee arrows or tridents out at everyone trying to get you. Um, we're going to place a little flagpole, but not bother putting a flag on at this stage so there we go so you need to do the exactly same thing on the other side i'll be right back when i've done that so i hope you agree that was a pretty easy stage so far we are going to be unfortunately in a bit of a demolish mode we need to get rid of this whole front wall here um, i'm just going to place grass on these little bits here we're actually going to have to get rid of you, you 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 and you and this little channel here as well in fact we are going to be in a bit of a demolishing mood i'm afraid we have to get rid of this whole section hmm. but the good thing is all these blocks can be reused Let's just put an andesite floor everywhere we go like that. Okay, we are starting again on this kind of middle section, but it is worth it. It is definitely worth it. Okay, uh, we want to block off this little side tunnel here. And we want to come in two blocks there. Two little blocks there. Bring it up the height of three. Same on both sides. Then we want to place a block there and there for decoration with a block there and there on those sides. And then we're going to go uh, one, two, three, four, I think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, looks like we can seal this door in as well. Seal, seal, seal. One, two, three, like so. Uh, we are going to need some of these stone brick stairs here and here and provide yourself a little stone brick slab in the middle 
just like that and then we need one more stone brick stair upside down upside down right there okay that's looking well that's not, not looking too bad actually i'm actually pretty happy with that so far uh, right on top of that we can go for a line of stone bricks again you could be mixing in some cobblestone at this stage some andesite some different textures will make it look pretty smart um, so let's bring these along we're going to make them a little bit decorative like that so start with upside down at the ends and you should be able to decorate it just like that and then we'll go with these chiseled blocks right on top do you know what i think i've got that the wrong way around let's go correct the way up and upside down there correct the way up upside down 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 correct the way up that's a better design that i've just come up with and we're going to go spruce fence because otherwise the spruce fences would be sitting on that and i don't think that looks very good does it that is 10 times better in my opinion cool right now we need to turn our attention to the back of this build and we're gonna um yeah we're gonna make this little kind of space here so we're gonna go one two three four five like that and then one two three four five bring this towards the front all the way to there and then just seal it there and there and what we do is we want to finish there because we want to just take away those blocks and that gives us a little entryway here this is the weakest part of the castle i suppose but there we go what we can do is actually build this up let's add on a couple of blocks to start with And we can take away that block and that block. And these are, again, little murder holes where you could poke spears and arrows through to anyone invading your castle. Let's put another line on. That one can actually be sealed because that's enough height to get through. The whole floor, again, put your own choice of floor. Could be stone, andesite, polished andesite if you're rich like that. And we'll just keep building this up until we get to the top actually until we get up to this level here I think that's the correct level to be at do you know what I think I think this hmm I think this level here can actually get taken away so these this line of blocks can actually get taken away so that leaves us with this so far just double checking my work. Yeah, that looks good to me. That looks good to me. And that means we can have a, a door right here, actually into this um, structure, which I think is great. But to get up and down, we're gonna need a little staircase as well, just to get up and down. <clears throat> Excuse me, like that. Wow, my voice, <laughs> my voice is going, no. Don't get a frog in your throat now. Seal that up. Um, yeah, that's looking great. That is looking really, really pleasing. Very happy with that. So what we need to do is do exactly the same on the other side. Be right back when that's done. So we're actually not far at all from finishing this stage. Let's switch our attention back around to the front again, because I want to make quite a small doorway, quite a small entryway. So I'm going to go upside down stair there and there, and that's where the door is going to be. So, um, these blocks need to go in here oh by the way when i did duplicate that one to that side do you notice what i also did i also did a bit of texturing as well i also put in a bit more of this beautiful cobblestone just to break it up and texture it nicely okay that's looking very cool there what we do want to do is put in a door of course so i'm gonna go just the normal door that i like to do spruce trap doors take away those two and add in a spruce door there is a sneaky block I like to do here to give you like a little, I don't know, like a little peek of who's at your door. Look at that little, haha, you can just see who's at your door if you do that. So if you're inside, look, this is what I mean. You're in here, 
You've got this little room you can climb up if you want. You can go through here, maybe to a little guard's room. But you can also peek. You can peek out the door. <laughs> I've still got my mask on. Um, don't forget to put in some iron bars. You don't want people throwing their mini zombies through at you or something. I don't know if that's a thing. Iron bars. Right, let's get this bit here finished off. So what do we want to do? We want to do another little mini entrance here like so block 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 and we'll put these blocks now what's really really cool is we can put these more murder holes where you could drop stuff down on your unsuspecting enemies finish things off with some fence again keeping it simple not difficult build not difficult materials, that's the whole point of this. And um, we can add in another door, and my goodness, stage two is looking like it's heading towards a double door. Fortified gatehouse entrance way. Perfection, there we go, I love it so far. Oh, 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 oh. There's one really cool thing we can do we, with these windows. We can actually double the amount of windows. Now, I absolutely love this. You're gonna love this. Hopefully, you're gonna love it. I like it. I like it. Do that and that, and you're like, wow, that looks like a rubbish window, but look. Boop, boop. And again, it's back to arrow slits, but you've doubled your arrow slits, so it's a little bit more defensive. Just face your stairs in the way. One the right way up, one upside down, and level two is looking like it's actually complete. Okay, we're ready for the final stage. This is quite a complicated stage, but I think you guys like some complicated builds on my channel. So to do this, um, I have put a copy of it here as a reference because it's quite complicated. If you have access to a player head, you can do that at the top of the flag and it looks pretty smart. Oh, by the way, this little tower top here, I've copied. I've got inspiration from a guy called Asteroid Minecraft Build. So I'll put a shout out to his Instagram in the description. But yes, yeah, so I've just copied basically from about that level up the way. I thought, ooh. I, I'm going to give this guy a shout out and just copy his little tower because it's just too cute. I love it. Um, and, and you know what I was thinking? If if player heads could stack, how cool would that be? If player heads could stack, you could get two player heads in the, the size, the space of one block and you could just make little columns of player heads. That would be so cool. I'm going to suggest it actually to Mojang. Anywho. <laughs> We need to, first of all, grab some smooth stone slabs. By the way, here is the ingredient list for the entire of the whole of the last build. Of course, you could take away the blocks you've already built if you've built the previous stages. So, uh, yeah, grab some smooth stone slabs and we're just going to replace these ones all the way around. Like so. Um, when we get to this stage, we're going to do something a little bit weird. We're going to just take off that one. That one's going to go there. We're going to get rid of you and you and grab some spruce trapdoors. And we're going to make a spruce trapdoor there and one there. This one's going to be like that. And we're going to have a little staircase is going to go there. All right, are you with me so far? Are you with me? And then that's going to go there. And then that one can be smooth stone. Okay, so far, this will all make sense a little bit later on. There we go. We'll get rid of you, 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 and this little spot here. And we're actually going to take a little dive down into here and just change our ladder system a little bit as well. So get rid of this ladder. And we're going to go cobblestone down here and bring that up. I think uh, we bring it up that far at least. We need to put stone bricks to ceiling in this part here. Like that. That's pretty good so far. And then we're going to place a block, a solid block there and there. And then stone brick stairs there. There, 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 and there. From below, from this bit, it looks like that. So these stone brick stairs and this these, this stone block here are going to support the little tower uh, above. So yeah, we need to carry on with our little ladder. Mm 
and that gets us up to this level here. Now we can uh, start to build the little tower on top. We need to come up by five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Let me just double check that counting actually. So we're building this little tower. One, two, three, four, five. I actually come up by six. So six in total. Like that. That block there actually is going to be one of the only ones that we don't place. That gets, we get rid of that one. All right. So now we need to uh, design the little tower made by Asteroid Minecraft build. So we're going to go like that and like that. So it's upside down stairs in these positions. Easy so far, huh? Um, then we need a, a slab. Have I got a slab somewhere? Hmm, there should be a slab. And this slab is going to go on top of these. Like so. Pretty straightforward so far. And then we're going to go one there. So we have that teeny tiny little gap in there. And what you can do if you want, you can bring the, um, the ladder a bit further up. If you wish, you can get to that little spot there and fire out even more. Even more arrows. We do have a little window to put in. So let me just get this exactly right. I think the window goes, huh. which blocks is it? One, two, count up two blocks. One, two, and then, yep, so the window goes here, like that. There we go, that's our window. And then we need to grab lots of spruce blocks to provide this little tower up top. So go all the way around in spruce, like that. Um, and again, actually. Then it's over to spruce. Um, no, it's not. It is over to slabs. Ooh. I like it. So slabs in the corner. I'm actually understanding this tower a bit more now. That is actually really, really cool. And then, then we go stairs. What a nice design. I love it. Then another spruce, spruce, this time with Trachydorus maximus all the way around. Then spruce on top. Then stone brick wall. Oh, we have some of that down here, don't we? Stone brick wall, one off. And then a fence. Boop. And this guy's got some really cool flag designs. Um, oh, I need to do press control before I ever grab that. So here is the first flag design. I thought it was really, really cool. It was like that. Like that. Do -do -do. Like that. And then actually a little bit of carpet. So I guess to do the little bit of carpet, you'd need some string and then some red carpet. So the string is going to go there and then the carpet can go on top doesn't it look like a really cool flag i love it and then the player head goes on top oops not squint like that that's one flag uh you could just do a simple flag like that i'm sure you've got some good flag designs this is the one from that little chap as well i thought that was a really really cool flag um is that the tower complete that could be that little tower complete. So what you want to do is just do exactly the same on the other side. All right, next we're gonna uh, have a look at this front part here. Obviously it's got an amazing portcullis made of these, what is that over there? Something floating over there. God, take care of your floaters, everybody. Um, this is a lectern portcullis, and it's, it's a great idea by Emberite in my Twitch stream. So if you want to see me develop some of these things, uh, do follow me on Twitch. By the way, this is going to annoy people. I think I should have added these blocks in on stage two. Just adds a little something, doesn't it? Just adds a little something. So you can go back and do that if you're still on stage two. Apologies. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is change this whole front section. So let's take this front section off just now. Like that. So it should look something like that so 
far and we're going to add on another front section so what we want to do is find this block here in other words one two three four up and place those upside down stair blocks right there then we can add on stone bricks on top stone bricks on top again and another stair there and there so we've got that uh, so far and then we can go one two three one two three like that there we go then we can go um slab where is there a slab slab right here so upper slab upper slab like so and then we should be able to do upside down stair upside down stair and a little slab in the middle so that takes care of that uh, then we can go into chiseled stone brick territory um we need to put one here but i think we are going to take away that block and that block put that in there and a slab under so if you didn't see that let me do that again so we'll take away that block that block stone brick stone brick slab and then chiseled stone bricks and we can start to alternate these all the way along like that there we go beautiful then it's um anvil times four and uh smooth stone slabs five of them there like that that's pretty good good progress well done if you've managed to keep up with that so far um we're gonna get rid of these blocks just to open this up make this a little bit taller quite a bit taller actually as well one two three four we want to be counting up one two three four blocks and get rid of all these this doorway has to go as well so that is the size of our doorway there and then we're also going to have so it's one two three four high one two three four yeah so here we're going to get rid of these blitz like that. I'm going to go like that and like that. That's actually pretty good right there. Yeah, happy with that. And then it's simply a question of stone bricks at the back here. And these are going to be like this all the way across. So one, two, three. Bring this across like this and just fill in that whole space with stone brick, just like that. All right, cool, cool, cool. So you can see the walkway is starting to form. You come down these steps and you've got these little battlements to fight for. Okay, we need to neaten things up here a little bit. That is for sure. Background to the front, I've actually made a slight mistake. So we actually need to take away these blocks like that. We should have that one there and that one there. Same on that side there and there. Okay. Uh, so one, two. <laughs> this does get a little confusing, I tell you what. Let's bring these blocks along, see how it looks. So there, there. Yeah, I think that's good. I think this block here can actually be a slab like that and i think that is that side looking good yeah i'm happy with that hopefully you are as well i'm gonna place some temporary blocks just there and then slap down this uh lectern i think we're gonna get rid of that little window there because this is where the portcullis is going to be so we're going to need i need to check how many of these we need we need one two three four of these lecterns so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, oops, four, one, two, three, three, four. Um, you can remove the bottom layer if you want to be able to walk in and out of your um, gate without too much trouble. Cool. So uh, now we need to form kind of a little, I don't know, a little sort of spot where we can actually um, pull up the portcullis. Pull this portcullis. A portcullis is like a fortified gate. This is a portcullis. Pull up the fortified gate and do everything around the back because I think the front is looking fine. I can just check all that. Yeah, the front looks fine. So it's just this back area here to take care of. Yeah, there's definitely some complexity to this section, but I, I think you'll, you'll like it in the end. We'll get rid of those wall blocks, okay? One, two, three, one, two, three. And then through here, we can make a little 
gap here and I'm actually just enter into this spot right here so we can seal that wall up there and make a, a little doorway here I love it, it just looks so cool um, and if you want you could do that on the doorway I think I'm not going to bother let's do the same over here so I've sealed that in that can get opened up to a door seal that in and that can just be a little staircase right there you can do um, looks like what I've forgotten to do I don't know how I've managed that I've forgotten to do this bit inside uh, that tower over there so I will have to do that uh, off camera that's supposed to be there right back to this uh, design here what we're going to do um, collect some more of these we're going to go one two three four five um, just going to wrap this round a little bit like that bring it across like so that's pretty good bring it up another block I think another notch like that um, then we're going to provide a little kind of a, a holder for the kind of the wooden beam that you're going to wrap the chain round so we need two bits of chain one two one to, where did the other bit go? A rogue bit of chain. There we go. So we're going to uh, push put this spruce log along here, and this is what you can imagine is actually turning. Do you know what? Yeah, I, th I think I like that. And then this is going to be a acacia log here, or stripped log, and that's going to represent where the chain is wrapped, wrapped round. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, that one could be taken away, so we can just kind of spy down there a little bit. Um, this one can get changed like that. So you can actually just see a little bit further down into there. Cool. Uh, this whole section here is going to be murder holes. So do we have a wall block I could grab, please? Thank you very much, Mr. Wall Block. And um, let's put them there. And then these murder holes make just a little bit more sense. Cool. I'm going to move this door out by one. I think it just gives us a little bit more space at the back. So we'll just perform, perform this little kind of loop here, bring these out, and just simply, we're just simply moving this whole door just back by one dot. So let's get that done right now. And this goes here. Uh, yep, right here, I think. Nope. Here. So we've got a portcullis and we've got a door as well. Cool. There we are. Looks really cool. Um, let's grab some of these and just go with these on the corner. Um, there. That's pretty good there. Hmm. That doesn't seem wide enough for some reason. Oh, I think what I want to do is just create another. Is that right? Another line of these up here. Put that there, put that there, that fence there, and fence across. So let me just hold the camera there so you can just copy what I've done. I did place a lot of blocks there very, very, very quickly indeed. Don't forget your texturing. Really important to texture it. And the site at this point would be quite good to mix in as well. St ordinary stone blocks also. So we've got a little staircase to do as well, actually. A little staircase is going to come up here. Fill that in underneath. And then the staircase is going to actually come right into here. And it's very, very cute indeed. We can go there. And we've got another block there. So this block here is actually going to be one we stand on. So we need to do that underneath. I like that kind of thing. I really do. So cool. Right. So from here, we can climb upstairs to, oh, yeah, climb upstairs to get in there. Or we can climb upstairs to get in there. So it's a kind of a, you know, you've got a choice of which way you climb the stairs. I like it. Little cute stairs everywhere. Let's do the same on this side for completeness. And here we dig. We dig in. Nope, that goes like that. That goes like that. That goes upside down, and now we're trapped in here, so let's get out of here. Um, yep, we need to go that way to get up that staircase and then that door, or that way, like that. And there we go. Um, there is kind of just tiny bits of detail to add there and there, there and there. 
little things you can stand on to help wind up the portcullis to kind of close that main gate. Portcullis is like a bit of a gate, I suppose. Um, and to represent the kind of the winding, do we have any of these? Yes, fence posts, the winding equipment like this. Boop, boop, boom. Do, 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 do. do you know what? If that was a stair, that would make even more sense. Yeah, let's make that a stair there. I love that. And then that's like a winding handle, right? Hopefully it's a winding handle. And then up here, this could be another winding handle sticking out kind of like that. Able to wind up the portcullis at a moment's notice. And that's us. I think that's us finished. What else have I done in this place? I think so you can add in some chains, lamps on those positions and little lamps down here. Lots of vines. Put your, give yourself a little drawbridge. I mean, I'm not going to dig this for you on, on the tutorial. You can do that. Just dig yourself a little moat, add in a little bridge, and then I just lined it with those. It's pretty cool. I mean, this will be determined by your landscape, so I don't want to do it. It's your landscape. Of course, don't forget to add in plenty bushes. <laughs> Gotta have some bushes. It looks like I've got a little side window there as well. I probably didn't put that in my tutorial. A little side window. Um, what else have I done around the back here? Nothing much. Oh, I put on these little spruce trap doors. I guess I'll show you how to do that. So we've got one trap door there, then two. Take that away. Um, another one there, there, there. And then one on top. Did I just completely mess that up? Probably. No, I think I one and then a, I think I just messed it up. There. That's what you what you want. And then there. Looking a lot healthier there. Little protective barrier for your staircase. And that is what I think is a pretty good looking gatehouse in my opinion oh by the way at the back here we forgot you need to do a little entryway there so you can actually get into this staircase like that and this staircase could actually have some ladders go in that direction as well if you want to climb up really far but there we go i think this is pretty cool maybe that one and that one so you can look out the windows a bit easier little tiny touches here and there really make a build add in some vines add in some of these mossy cobblestone blocks mossy stone bricks that really helps to set this whole build off when you've got some mossy blocks as well really just looks absolutely magnificent look at that all the moss the vines crawling up don't forget all your doors yeah i think i'm going to sign off there and leave that as the third upgrade that was the second upgrade that was the first upgrade and that was the zeroth upgrade big shout out and thank you to everyone who helped design this we were live on twitch twitch.tv forward slash andy is yoda if you'd like to download all these stages as schematics i'll be putting them onto my patreon uh, or my discord as well join my discord uh, and as, if you're a youtube channel member or a patron you can download all my schematics and maps as well so thank you and shout out to aaron violet Kajexi and me and anyone else who helped with these little upgrade. Which part of the castle should we upgrade next? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao in the blocks. Be with you.